Stupidest reasons people call 911 for. Yeah, you call 911? Uh, Did you say you killed two people or something like that? Six okay, how old are you? Hey, um... I had my headset on, I got a, I got a double kill, and I kind of lost my shit, and I told them that I'd, uh, kill their family, so, you know, that was on, that was on me there, I, um, I wasn't serious, it was just a bit of friendly game, search and destroy banner on Call of Duty, it wasn't, I wasn't actually serious when I said that. A man in a blue hoodie just pulled a gun on me. Okay, and is he still there? Uh, yeah, he's, he's... Man calling police on himself. He's running away. Over 600,000 911 calls are made daily. A large number of these calls aren't actual emergencies. Here are four cases of people who dialed 911 for bizarre reasons, starting with the craziest of them all. Yeah, but the kid with the Rainbow Six Siege, he butt dialed. Imagine butt dialing the cops while you're playing a shooting video game. It was an unbelievable scene in Fort Wayne, Indiana, when 18-year-old Wyatt Beckler made a very disturbing call to 911, which he happened to record. Uh, 410 Popper. Hey, um... A man in a blue hoodie just pulled a gun on me. Okay, and is he still there? I mean, is uh, he doing this before he commits a crime? Like, why is he calling the cops on himself? Yeah, he's... He's, he's running away. Is he white, black, Hispanic? The weirdest thing happened. Beckler reported an armed person threatening people, then described himself in detail, which essentially amounted to swatting. However, swatting typically involves the caller targeting someone else, not themselves, which made this very odd. Police officer Andrew Fry was sent to the location. Upon sighting Beckler, he drew his weapon because reports indicated the suspect might be armed. I got a male in a blue hoodie right here at uh, Poplar and Hoagland. Why did he do this to himself? Did he want the cops to kill him or some sh That's what I'm thinking. I mean, either A, trying to get money out of it, like say the cop injures him. B, he wanted the cops to kill him. Let me see your hands real quick. Come back here. Hey, come back here. Put, get your hands up. Get your hands up. Let me see your hands. He's walking northbound. Hoagland is refusing commands. What the this fuck? officer was under immense pressure, as police officers are generally advised to use non-lethal force on suspects. However, the fact the suspect might be wielding a gun made the whole situation very tricky. Let me see That's where they whip out that beanbag gun and go, boom, 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 hit you in the nuts, fucking shatters both your ball sacks. Uh. Get hands now! Get your hands up where I can see them! Keep your hands up and walk back to me now! I what got one at gunpoint. Keep coming to me. Keep your hands up. Face away from me and keep your hands up. Face away from me and keep your hands up. Keep walking back. Keep walking back. Stop there. Get on your knees now. Keep your hands on your head. Get on your knees. Stop. It appeared Beckler was attempting to provoke the officer into using force. However, this took a shock. Uh, maybe was he trying to get money out of it? Trying to, you know, get a cop to shoot you when he shouldn't have? Speck suddenly did this. Get on oh, your is he gonna run at him? Knees. Get on your knees. Now. Get on your knees, dude. Beckler attempted to pull something out of his pocket, prompting the officer to shoot him three times. Shots fired, one down. Beckler was discovered to have had a knife. He was rushed to the hospital, but the gunshot wound proved to be fatal. Investigation- What the fuck? We can't even ask the motherfucker why he did- So he called the cops on himself so he could stab a police officer? What the fuck does that even mean? revealed Beckler's mental health issues. Oh my god, he was trying to kill himself. Oh. His online activities of watching and researching murder by cop videos. The prosecution office deemed the officer's use of force justifiable and did not press charges against him. Beckler's case was quite sad, but the person- You think he wanted to kill himself? Like, what is that? I don't understand. Murder by cop? That's what he was- I, Yeah, maybe he did. He just wasn't- He was trying to get them to kill him. person in the next case could be considered the strangest to ever call 911. On January 3rd, 2023, police officers responded to a civil complaint about a man whose auto work wasn't completed despite making full payment. As the officer approached the complainant, he could immediately sense something was off. I had an appointment. I had a breathalyzer thing in my car that needs to get swapped out every month and they do an evaluation on it. I, I paid for it over the by credit card, I already did all that and now he won't do the work on my car when he's already got my money and everything else. How do you won't do the work or what? 
Yeah, he told me what we were. The customer said he was there to get his breath alcohol ignition interlock device checked out, which was a red flag in itself. These devices are typically court ordered for DUI offenders to operate a vehicle. While police aren't supposed to profile individuals based on appearance or situation, this individual had too many things off about him. Why are you sweating so much? Because it's hot. It's up and sitting in the car for an hour and a half. I got no AC. So I'll just keep your hands out of your pockets while we're talking. So he called them because the guy won't work on his vehicle? I understand that. I treat everybody the same way. I just thought no disrespect. He was sweating a lot, which he attributed to the heat, and seemed tense when asked to take his hands out of his pockets. Subsequently, the officer questioned the mechanic, whose testimony was an eye-opener. What's going on? I'm trying to get him out of here, you know, and uh, when I was doing the download, his, his camera didn't work, okay? And then all of a sudden, he blew up on me. Oh, well, the camera's fine, no, 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 right? I'm like, I'm on the phone with support, tech support, trying to re rem uh, remedy the problem. So he got all on my face about it, and then uh, I just said, look, I don't need this. And I just packed up my shit and got off the truck, and I, and I pulled it in. I said, you gotta go somewhere else. Most DUI interlock devices are equipped with a camera. These devices detect the driver's breath alcohol level and prevent the vehicle from starting if the level exceeds- Oh, so you don't get somebody else to blow the fucking machine. 0.02 blood alcohol content. The cameras are there to ensure the driver conducts the test genuinely, and tampering with the cameras is a very serious offense. If you look at the camera face right there, and you just touch it, you can tip, you can feel the, the, the tape residue left on it. I told him he better stop doing it. Yeah. And I, keep, I keep telling him he's tampering with it. And I'm like, okay. Can you drive in here today? Yeah. While it wasn't confirmed that the driver personally tampered with the camera, the damage itself raised suspicions. Oh, the is he gonna get a fucking breathalyzer? Now he's probably drunk right now. They returned with additional questions. With a backup officer now present, the situation started to escalate. He says my camera's disconnected. He's like, oh, the camera's disconnected. I was like, no, the camera's absolutely not disconnected. If it is, I don't know anything about it. We gotta get in the computer and check diagnostics on this. But then he tells the guy that it had sticker or tape or something over the, the camera part. And he starts telling him he can't do it because of that. Long story short, the guy got his money. He can't pay the... Oh, no. <laughs> oh my god drunk driving to get your fucking camera fixed that's broken because you wanted to drunk drive like why is he at the mechanic shop uh, he's shaking dude he's scared so nervous. i'm not nervous dude i'm You're frustrated shaking. Your pupils are pinpointed. Who cares? I'm high as hell. Is that what you want to hear? Can we get so to you the... drove here high as hell to get I'm a... not high. You just said. I was being sarcastic. I was just trying oh. to move this along. I'm not paid to be sarcastic. I, I, I got high after I got here. Well, you admitted. I got high after I got here. Yeah, no, that's the that's the funniest. Yo, Chad, it's full for plan. If you ever if you ever get in a drunk driving accident, just start just make sure that you're on camera drinking after the accident and be like, dude, I just got drunk after the accident. I didn't No, I, I, I got drunk after, after we got in the crash, you know, cause I was upset about it. You just got high after you got here. And you didn't take that as sarcasm. Yeah. The driver can't seem to stop making bad decisions. Firstly, calling the cops while potentially intoxicated. Then, admitting well, I think to- I just being sarcastic with an officer is always just a fucking terrible idea. Like, you don't joke. Like, officers- Officers could joke with each other, but, like, if you're, like, if they're, like, questioning you and you're, like, yeah, I'm on fucking crack right now. I, I think they're gonna they're gonna kind of read that as uh you know serious regardless of how you say. Driving the influence it. of drugs, and later asserting that he was being sarcastic. Weird. I know. How are you gonna get here? Joe helping people drunk drive that actually doesn't work. If you drunk drive and get in an accident and then drink after the car accident, you're still gonna get arrested for a DUI. I'm not even high, dude. What are you talking about? Put your hands on your back. For what? You're being detained. You said you're For what? For what am I being? So, so of That's not, this is not illegal. Your back. This is crazy. Isn't it? He was only being detained on suspicion of possession of narcotics. However, in addition to the series of bad decisions, he made another one, which made matters worse. Oh, did he hurt the officers? Right. Right. Possession right. of narcotics? Possession? Right. Where's the possession at? Where's your possession? Hey, have a seat. No, 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 no. Where's the possession at? Have a seat. No, dude. dude. Have a crazy. seat or you're going to go to jail. You're, what are you trying to do that? Let me sit out here like a normal person. Did you want me to? No. What's your suspicion? I'm going to ask you one last. That's what's your a... suspicion? Uh, you saying you're actively fucking high? Sit down. Sit down. Dude, get the leg in. He's Actually, come on back out. Now you're getting searched incident to arrest. 
Oh, why am I getting search? Obstruction of justice. Huh? Assisting an officer without violence. I'm not resisting. Why is only the front part of his shirt wet? Like, I don't sweat there. Do y'all sweat there? I feel like my armpits would be sweating. He's just only fucking wet in the front neck part of his fucking shirt. Yeah, my dude. I ain't playing your games. You're, 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 you're breaking the law. His situation deteriorated from being detained to now facing arrest for resisting. No, no, no. Dude, you know my dad's a head. You know my dad's FBI. I don't You don't care. Yeah. President of the United States. And you're going to still arrest me on these bullshit charges? Nah, if his dad was the president of the United States, they probably would care. If this was if this if this was uh, a president's son, they would probably they would probably this would probably not be happening. You know what he's no. doing's fucked up, man. Hey, let no. me talk to you. No, you know what Get he's doing's foot. fucked Get up. Get your foot in the car. Come on, dude. You know what he's doing's fucked up. They searched his vehicle and discovered an unidentified substance, which was later confirmed through testing to be marijuana. So you're being arrested for resisting without violence. Okay. You got your body camera on, right? Yep. It's been recording this entire time. Okay, great. I'm taking it to trial. You're I swear to God, I'm taking a, it to trial. You're also getting a civil citation. Without so, violence. without being any charge, without anything charged against me, just your suspicion, I can be placed in handcuffs and put yes, back you in your car. My safety, absolutely. Absolutely can. cannot. Yep. I can sit on the curb right there, just like this, and you can do anything He's about so it. so nervous. Well, I'm taking it to trial. I swear to God, I'm court. taking it to That's trial. Fine. You're under arrest. I'll see you at the jail. Move your foot. He was booked to jail and was charged with resisting without violence and additionally received a civil citation for THC possession. What is a civil citation though? I feel like that's not gonna be that's not gonna be that big of a fucking deal. Enjoying this video so far, please don't forget to like and subscribe. You might think that last suspect was a little off base for making jokes about being high. Wait until you meet Eric Sims. And then he grabbed my phone, slammed my phone on the ground, jacked me up on my shirt and told me to get the fuck out of there. Yes, I want him arrested. On June 8th, 2022, a Wisconsin officer responded to a call at a business in La Crosse from an employee named Eric Sims reporting an assault. The officer made contact with Eric Sims, unaware of the kind of individual he was dealing with. Incident today at the officer? Yes, I want him arrested. Okay, well, before we get to any of that, I need to know what happened. All right. The owner called me about a call I did this morning. Mm -hmm. And she's trying to say that I could have towed the car. I tried to explain to her why I couldn't. She got mad, hung up on me. I came over here to try to, I was coming over here to talk. I got to the door. Mm -hmm. um, I was yelling at her. If I was a cop, I'd zone out. Dude, I feel like the people they talk to are the worst storytellers of all fucking eternity, dude. Like, uh, so the, uh, I was there and we were like uh, talking and then I was, uh, you know, by my car and I was kind of mad and then this, bro, fucking lay it, just lay it out, lay it out, you know, what the fuck is this? This is just like chopping it up, it's like I'm, it's like I'm fucking time warping through the story, you're just throwing me in fucking two second intervals, like I don't know what's going on right now. She's trying to say that I could have told the car. the car, I tried to explain to her why I couldn't, she got mad, hung up on me, I came over here to try to... I was coming over here to talk. I got to the door. Mm -hmm. um, I was yelling at her. Mm -hmm. Her son came running out of the bathroom, jacked me up on my shirt, and told me to get the fuck out of there. Fucking, he grabbed me by my shirt and pushed me off of the steps and pushed me into the truck that's right next to the steps. And then I. What? What? You were by your car and then you got pushed off steps into a car? What, is, what are you talking about, bro? Like, what the fuck? I had to hit the truck and then he grabbed my phone, slammed my phone on the ground. I went to go grab it and said I was calling the police. He grabbed my phone again and he grabbed me by my shirt and holding my phone like that. I told him, I said, you know, you're going to jail now. That's an assault. Eric's account matched what he had told dispatch, but the experienced cop couldn't just arrest the other employee as Eric had requested without hearing his side of things first. The officer proceeded to question the other employee, which appeared to be a right move considering the account provided by the employee. Hello. Hey. Are you Josh? Oh, uh, no, Josh. Okay. Yes. Have I talked to you on your report? Yeah. Um, I was in the back room doing some stuff. Yeah, right. He comes in the office and instantly, nothing out of his mouth but screaming, just instant screaming, top of his lungs. Um, I step out there and Shay, the other officer guys out there, um, yeah, right. we ask him immediately, you need to go. You need to go outside, we'll deal with this later. Uh, continue to scream. And this is a story! See, I understand what he's fucking saying right now. Like, I, the other guy, 
So I was here and I want to tow the car. The car wasn't towed. I walked up there, pushed down the steps. And I was, he was grabbing my shirt and my phone. And then I was said, so now you're going to jail. And be in our face. So we opened the door, asked him to leave. There were discrepancies between the complainant's account and Josh's testimony, highlighting the necessity for cops to gather information from multiple people before taking action. The officer gained a clearer understanding of the situation and began to grasp the kind of person the complainant is. Guided, I'm, I'm gonna touch you. Guided him out like this. Okay. And then so he walked down the stairs. He tripped down the stairs. These on his, stairs here? No, oh, in, in the garage. Okay. He tripped yeah. down the stairs, kind of stumbled, dropped his phone, and that was that. We've had issues with him yelling before. We've had issues with him being violent before. Um, a while ago, he actually almost ran me and Shay over with his car. I just wanted him out. Sure. And to be honest with you, he's a problem. He's a felon. Okay. Uh, I know he's had pe past issues in the past. Mm -hmm. I've given him as many chances as I can. Honestly, the only reason he's still here is because I said, let's give him a fair right, shake and right. a chance. 8.30 okay. in the morning, coming in, instantly screaming at the owner, who's also a woman. I yeah. just don't understand where, where someone sure. thinks that's okay. The officer questioned more employees who corroborated the other employees' testimony, confirming Eric oh, and they all have the same was story. the aggressor and had- They don't have like a fucking security camera. I feel like that's a camera right there. A previous altercation with several other employees. The officer, having consulted all parties, proceeded to handle the matter in the most professional manner, but Eric was out for blood. So essentially, so you came here yelling and screaming, you're upset with Sue, I get it. Um, that's, that's not- acceptable behavior it doesn't excuse what happened with josh so essentially if if you want to pursue charges then you're also going to be charged with disorderly conduct they don't want to pursue charges against you but you can't come into a place of work yelling and screaming and causing a scene disorderly conduct for a place that i work okay do what you guys gotta do okay this. is that what you're is that what you want I, done I, is that what you do you want to be charged with that and have him charged as well or it do don't you, matter you can go ahead now nah, that's wild to say fuck it I'll I'll take a charge because I don't like that person that much that now I want them charged as well. We both can go to jail. Can I park my car? Eric basically said he doesn't mind going to jail. But now he's going to get sued because he's made, he, he's falsely accusing somebody of something. Because if he gets arrested for disorderly conduct, he could fucking then turn around and fucking sue this guy. As long as his alleged assailant goes to jail too, which was very odd, as any person in their right state of mind would typically try to avoid jail. However, the confusion continued as Eric's subsequent actions became even more baffling. I'll have to make a phone call. I don't think anybody's going to go to jail, but you can, you can be charged with it. Hey, you want to come down here and get my car? Because now they're talking about that. I have to go to jail. You, you don't I'm have to go to jail. Charges, <laughs> you know, you want to come down and get my car? Because he pushed me down the steps. He was holding my phone in my hand like this. And I told him, I said, you know, you're going to, you assaulted me. And so now you got to come get me. Bec no, you don't got to get me. You got to get my car because... Uh, they're saying I'm gonna have to go to jail because Josh is going to jail. Kind of a whole thing, right? We gotta kind of both go together. So, if you wanna kind of, you wanna just go get him, you can go get him. You guys so, can get a signature bond. You don't have to go to jail. I'm on probation. Okay. So, you still don't have to go to jail. I want him to go to jail. What he fucking did, what he fucking did, put his hands on me and slam me in the chalk. Okay. You guys are not going to arrest him? That's bullshit. Eric seemed to have a jail wish, as he went as far as informing the cop about his probation status. He doesn't even look hurt, though. Like, wouldn't you have, like, a visible bruise if you got s body sl if, you if somebody body slammed you into a truck, you're going to have, like, a physical injury, right? Like, like n it's not just going to be like, oh, I, I, I was in a little bit of pain. Like, dude, you're going to have a fucking welt. In an attempt to get himself and the other employee locked up, the cop had further conversations with Josh, telling him Eric wanted to press charges, which clearly didn't sit right with him. Right. I mean, he's right. a felon. He's right. trying to sell me weapons. He's right. got guns in his possession. I'm not trying to go down that rabbit hole. Right. Right. I just want him gone. Right. No, I that, that's what him. I told. I told my partner that you guys just want him gone, you know, and just want to cut ties, I guess. So. Yeah. The cop, recognizing that the situation was a minor issue escalating due to their egos, went ahead and made a decision, which, from Eric's reaction, wasn't quite popular with him. Just based on the information we're getting inside, and based on the, the totality of what happened here today, you don't have to get arrested, he doesn't have to get arrested. What we're going to do is we're going to issue you both a disorderly conduct ticket. You're going to, how are you going to enter, he put his hands on me, so you're not going to arrest him. I for him you. putting his hands on me. I'm not today, no, just based on the okay, circumstances. Okay, can I have your supervisor come out, please? Yeah, I'll give him a call after. <laughs>
<laughs> Bro, I hate motherfuckers that do that shit. Uh, if you're at like a Walmart, can you go get your manager, please? Thank you. Mm, go get your supervisor. Mm, yeah, let me go talk to your supervisor. Supervisor's gonna say the same fucking thing, right? The manager's gonna say the same fucking thing. Why would they ever change? Unless, like, the person's actually being a fucking idiot. All right, your ticket, okay? They both received the $187 ticket for disorderly conduct, much to Eric's dissatisfaction. As the officer went to write the tickets, Eric, not finished with the situation, decided he really needed that jail time. Go fucking stand over there! Get away from it! Go right stand over there! Go stand over there and stop running your mouth. Just don't listen to him. Just, no, just, 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 I, just would, don't I would like to do whatever I need yep, to do. Yep. To That's annoying as fuck. This guy's getting a fucking two hundred dollar ticket when he didn't do anything. Yeah, I know. He just threatened no, me in front no, of the no, office. No, no trespass. No. Yes. Well, why did you come out here though and go near him? Yeah, but you guys let him fucking act like that. Eric, put his hands on. Get me. in your car and drive away, okay? Things are done here. That's just bullshit. Eric, just drive away. You can get your stuff later, okay? None of them were taken to jail, but had to contend with the tickets for disorderly conduct instead. Come on, why did the cop have to break it up? It could have been funny. Could have been a could have been more interesting. More interesting encounter. I don't think we've ever seen anyone who wanted to go to jail as badly as Eric before. However, he just got let off with a ticket. The outcome was very different for the individual in the next case. Is everyone inside okay? What'd you say when you're on the phone accident? He said that he killed two people, but he was talking about on the game. On January 5th, 2023, heavily armed deputies from the Yo, I'd start tweaking if I was this kid. County Sheriff's Department swiftly responded to a location following a 911 call in which the caller claimed to have killed two people. Upon arrival, they immediately drew their weapons, which made sense given the reported situation. So turn around, turn around, turn around, you got me covered. Yep. All right, just put your hands behind your back. I'm not going to cuff you right now. Do you have any weapons on you or anything sharp? Nope. The caller, Elijah Matthew, cooperated fully with the officers. However, despite Yo, his... Yo, he dead ass butt dialed the cop. That is awful. ...operation, the officers proceeded cautiously, conducting a pat-down for their safety. As they began questioning <sighs> him, it started to appear that the situation might not be what they initially expected. What did you say when you are on the phone accidentally? I can't remember. Oh, I remember the four minute phone call. What's your name, bud? Elijah. Okay, you can relax. Okay, so this was just an accident. You yeah, called 911. Yeah, Did you say you killed two people or something like that? Okay, how old are you? 17. You're 17. Do you have a driver's license or no? Uh, no. Okay. I, I have a license, really. Are you? Where, where's your parents at? Uh, work. Okay. Oh my it God, appeared. he's home alone. <laughs> No! He's fucking playing Rainbow Six. He hears fucking gunshots. He's like, I hear sirens right now. What the fuck's going on? I had my headset on and uh, I butt out the police officer on accident. And I, I just, you know, I'm in the game. You know how I, you know how I put up in the game. And so four of them came here. Do you want me to talk to your mom? Uh, yeah, you can. Yeah. You're not in any trouble, man. Uh, yeah. If it's an accident. Hey, yeah. is this Elijah's mom? Okay. Yeah. Hey, so what happened is I guess he's saying that he was playing a video game and. In the process of accidentally calling 911, he said that he killed two people, but he was talking about on the game. So we thought that there was a double murder, so we showed up to your house with a bunch of- Turns out it's actually just a kid in copper. Wait, hold up. Let me let me get back to you a second. Let me get back to you in a second here. Did you even win the game? No, he lost. He actually, he actually didn't even win the game here, so, uh, I don't know. I'm, it's kind of- fucking stupid right now this kid's saying he got two kills here he didn't even win the game he's copper <sighs> what's your kd ratio oh his kd is about a 0.6 Ooh, i've never seen something so bad that's why we're here talking to your son okay so there's nothing to be worried about okay yeah, we're, yeah we're just trying to we're, we're just doing our due diligence here trying to figure everything out and make sure that everybody's okay because we have to do that when we get a 911 call so right, right. we just wanted to inform you. Um, are you nearby or no? No, I'm in Highland Heights at work. Okay. Well, we would like to uh, just check out the inside of the house if that's okay, just to make yeah, sure that. Did every you put the dogs away? Yeah, yeah. You saw the kids like, oh shit, my dad, my dad pen's in the fucking, my dad pen sitting on the gaming console. He's like, all right, hold up, let me just go run in real. Let me go run inside real quick. Just you know, tidy things up real quick. Just you know, I didn't, I didn't expect guests to be here. I was telling us that the fucking throws like a four foot bong out the window <laughs> glass just shatters all over the fucking sidewalk dogs need to be put up first so i just wanted to oh that was weird to you before so we can get your permission okay yep that's totally fine all righty well thank you very much right. thank you uh okay. bye all right here we go put him away you got the side? okay hold on for me let me just get my supervisor on on speed with us here 
His story seemed to have checked out after the cop's conversation with his mom. However, the cop still had to be very thorough and leave no stone unturned. Following a briefing with his supervisor, a few officers went with Elijah to check in the house. Unfortunately, we couldn't show the search as the Boone County Sheriff's Office regulations prohibit video coverage well, yeah. inside residences. The cops found nothing suspicious, which corroborated Elijah's account of events. The officer. Yeah, and then they probably just dipped. All right, next video. That was W. Man.